This is a problem regarding limit using epsilon and delta notation. Given a positive number epsilon and the limit L of a function at the point A given below, limit of x approaching 1, 2x plus 3 is equal to 5, where epsilon is equal to 0 0.01. Find a number delta such that absolute value of fx minus L less than epsilon if 0 less than absolute value of x minus a less than delta. What does all this mean? For example, you look at this statement, limit of 2x plus 3, when x approaching 1, we should know the answer is 5 because x approach 1, 2 times 1 plus 3, you should get near 5. Now, let's refer to Howard Anton, section 1.4, limit definition. If f of x defined for all x on some open interval containing the point a, with a possible exception that fx need not be defined at a. We are right, limit of x approaching a, f of x equal to l, if given any epsilon greater than 0, we have find a number delta greater than 0 such that the absolute value of fx minus l less than epsilon, if absolute value of x minus a greater than 0 less than delta. What this means in terms of picture is this. Suppose this is a graph of y equal fx here. At the point a, the function limit is l. What does it mean? It means that for every epsilon with the angelo, let's say from l here, I draw, I find the value l minus epsilon and l plus epsilon. Then I must be able to find a delta here so that as long as my x value is between a plus delta and a minus delta. The difference between y and l will be less than epsilon. Let's go back to the question. So what is the all this information means now? So find a delta such that fx minus l. What is l now? L is this. 5. Epsilon we know is 0 0.01. f of x is here which is 2x plus 3 and what is a? a is 1 this a here and we are going to find out what is delta so translate this we are having this inequality 2x plus 3 minus 5 less than 0 0.01 let's see do we get something out from here if x minus 1 less than Delta. Now let's do a calculation. 2x plus 3 minus 5 less than 0 plus 0 1 is the same as 2x minus 2 3 minus 5 is minus 2 less than 0, 0 plus 0 1 and you can pull out the 2 here 2 times absolute value of x minus 1 less than 0 plus 0 1 then divide both sides by 2 get x minus 1 less than 0 0.01 over 2 which is 0 0.005 and this is the delta we are looking for now because I mean, as long as x minus 1 less than 0 0.005 then 2x plus 3 minus 5 will be less than 0 0.001 so our delta is this our delta, this is the delta here delta is 0 0.005 as a delta here same so that finished the solution